Hey everyone, Shannon here, and today I will be teaching you how to reduce noise in Adobe Audition. Audition is such a great tool for noise reduction. I use it all the time when I am producing my videos and recording some audio, uh, especially during my documentary style interviews. It's great, especially if I'm doing some outdoor work uh, when the wind's blowing and it's kind of going all over the person's voice and you can't really hear them very well. So I really like it. Uh, I made just a simple clip right as you see here to demonstrate how this works and to show you what the effect is and where it is and how to get to it and how to actually reduce noise. Sometimes you will have more challenging clips if you're producing a video or recording audio and uh, there's a lot of noise in the clip and sometimes when you reduce the noise, your voice or someone else's voice can become tinny and it can sound like you're talking into a tin can and sound a little bit robotic and echoey. Uh, that's not really what we're dealing with today. This is more of a simple tutorial. Uh, but if you are interested in a more advanced tutorial on how to reduce the noise in a more difficult uh, audio clip, please let me know in a comment below. So let's get started, and this is a little clip I just pre-recorded for you to listen to, and you can kind of hear how my voice sounds far away, and there's a little bit of wind in it, and so here we go. We are working in Adobe Audition. So I sound uh, a little bit far away. So again, when you boost the volume in Audition, you're also boosting the noise volume in Audition. So always remember, it's a rule of thumb, when you are either recording a video or recording the audio for someone, make sure you have a great microphone, they're talking very well, and they are speaking loudly into the mic. Uh, not so loud like this that it's annoying, but you know, they're a good distance away. And you have a great mic to record in, and there's not so much noise around you. Uh, a studio environment is best. But when you're working outside, say you want some nice nature s shots of someone sitting outside, like in my documentary, Becoming Vegan, Alyssa's Story, you can find it on my YouTube channel, uh, that was a challenging one because there was wind involved. Uh, so if I just boost the volume a little bit on this so we can hear myself better, we are also going to boost the noise on this. We are working in Adobe Audition. So you can hear a little bit of the wind in that clip and how I sound far away um, right in the beginning. We are working in a do right working in, in right in that area. Uh, there's some wind picking up there. So noise reduction, it can't make a clip perfect as I again, this is also a good thing to remember. You cannot polish a turd. If it was recorded crappy, it is going to sound crappy no matter what. So this area has a good amount of, of noise I would like to reduce, and it's going to reduce it for this entire clip. We really just need to capture that noise. So left click to highlight, and we're going to stop right before I start speaking, right there, and just let go. And we're going to right click and hit Capture Noise Print, and that's very important. So we're going to hit that. And you can deselect that because it already captured it. We're going to go to Effects, Noise Reduction Restoration, and Noise Reduction Process. Now, don't get scared. Uh, this window is kind of intimidating for some people, especially if you are a beginner and don't really know how to use Audition yet. Uh, this is just showing your threshold and your highs and your lows. So really, we have no highs here, and we do want that. Now I'm just going to show you, here's your noise reduction and your noise reduction that is reduced by. They are both set to 100. We never, ever, ever want them set to 100 because it will sound like I am talking into a tin can, and I will show you what I mean because I'm going to apply this right now. Now look at that. It cleaned up our audio. It got rid of all that noise that was right here. Remember all that noise? It's just one wavelength now. But if I play it back, I'm going to sound a little bit like, I'm in a tin can, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's not going to sound so professional. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean. We are working in Adobe Audition. So again, it's a little, little tin canny, and we don't want that. So I'm just going to hit Control Z to undo that. And I'm going to go back to that, that uh, noise reduction process again. So we have no highs, and that's because we have both uh, the noise reduction and the reduce by set to 100, and we don't really want that. What I like to do when I reduce my noise 
is have it set to 60, the noise reduction set to about 60. You really don't want to go above that. Um, sometimes in certain cases when, when the audio is more difficult to work with, I do go a little bit above that, but I like to keep it about 60. Now you see when I moved it to 60, we got our highs back. And that's so important because it will not sound like I'm talking into a tin can and it will sound a little bit more professional and a lot better. And then you reduce by, I'll keep it at about 80, 70, 80 is a, is a good number. I'm at 77 right now. And that's all right. Um, just as long as you're in that range. And I'm going to hit apply. And see, it kept some of the noise in there, which is great because that noise will still be in my voice. You won't hear it as much in the clip, but my voice won't sound like I'm in a tin can. We are working in Adobe Audition. So that's a lot better, and you can keep playing with that and see see where your audio is and wh what you want it to sound like and what you want it to be, but I never ever set uh, those to 100. It is important that you have your highs and your lows here and your threshold. And that is how you reduce noise in Adobe Audition.